what it is yo oh what's up hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so grateful that you decided to to join me on this journey um today i want to discuss with you about the art of imagination as you know in the previous video we talked about discovering the authentic you or i would like to think of it as uncovering the authentic you because as we all know whatever you were created to do it was placed inside of you before birth and then you were birthed into this world and somehow some way you lost it or you forgot about it so this whole journey is about discovering who you are how we can impact the world how we can inspire the world and how we can become who we were born or destined to be so albert einstein once said that your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions and that's albert einstein said that so you know that's credible <laughs> so i'd like to do this quick exercise with you just just trust me on this trust me i won't scare you or anything but I just ask that you close your eyes. I'm serious, guys. Close your eyes. I can see you. Close my eyes. Stop looking at me. Okay, I'm joking. Close your eyes. Just take a minute to inhale and exhale. Forget about everything that's going on. Really quiet your mind. Let's breathe again. Let's exhale. Now I want you to imagine yourself holding an orange. Not too big, just you know, right size. And now I want you to start to feel around the orange and you can feel those ridges and those bumps around the orange. And now I want you to take your finger, you know, your nail, and dig into that orange and begin to peel back that outer layer and as you're peeling you start to smell that citrusy aroma keep on peeling you're either gonna go to the core you're gonna break it off and peel it back I want you to pull it apart however you may do so and take a bite out of one of the slices you can taste the sweetness or it could be bitter orange now I want you to open your eyes did you feel how real that was how you could smell the orange how you could feel the orange and we don't have a, I don't have orange But did you see how real that was? Now I want you to take that same concept and I want you to apply it to what it is that you want to do in life. Whatever you're passionate about. Because I gave you a homework assignment in the last video. I hope you did it. And if you didn't, it's cool. I want you to take some time out of your day to really write down, not just think about it. I want you to take those thoughts and put them on paper. I want you to write down what drives you, what you're passionate about, what makes you sad, what really pulls your heartstrings, what makes you want to run out and make a difference in the world, what makes you happy, what could you eat, breathe, and sleep doing, what is it? Write it down, okay? Don't tell me yet. Write it down first, okay? And then I want you to take some time out. Just close your eyes and really quiet your mind. Get some quiet time. It's very important to have quiet time and be able to meditate on good and positive things. So, take that list. Sit down. Close your eyes. And see yourself doing those things that you, that you wrote down. I want you to be able to see yourself being that scuba diving instructor i don't know whatever it is that you you want to do 
Envision yourself doing those things. Get a feel of it. Because I can truly testify and say that being able to imagine yourself doing something is like, it's almost a way of self-manifestation. Um, for example, all of my life, at least, well, I mean, since I was about eight or nine, I've always wanted to be a choir director. I've always imagined myself being a choir director. I would, I would be in the car, I'll be at home in my room, and I'll hear a song come on the radio, and I would sing out each of the parts and direct and, you know, just do the whole thing. Like, you know, I'm like going in, okay? I'm not playing games, y'all. I'm serious. It gets real in my car and at home. So I would just imagine myself doing these things just for years and years and years. And so a couple weeks ago, we were at women's prayer and afterwards we started playing around singing and we decided, oh, we're going to have a women's choir. So we're practicing a song and then we get to the end of the song and I'm like, oh, can I, can I be the choir director? And they're like, sure. Yo, I've never had any musical training i mean i've been on the choir if you want to call that musical training i don't know I've, i was on a choir before um i i've never had any experience in doing so no we don't have a big choir like the mississippi mass choir something like that but it is a choir and i'm and i'm able to do what it is that i've always wanted to do so you can't tell me that the imagination doesn't serve a purpose because it definitely does. So when Albert Einstein said that your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions, it's true. And I encourage you to, to Place yourself in environments that will expand your imagination, that will input positive things. Because, you know, negativity brings about fear. And we'll soon talk about fear and how success and fear do not go hand in hand. But that's another topic for another day. So, again, I ask that you write down your dreams, your visions, your passions. Everything that you believe that makes you you, the positive things that make you you, and sit back, relax, and let your imagination go and take you there. And don't forget to jot down what you saw. And then later we'll come back and talk about it again. I'll I plan on um releasing a video this Friday because I'm kind of on a different flow, different track now, but I had to make sure that I got out this video about the art of imagination and how it is one of the most powerful tools that you could use in discovering the authentic you. So again, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know, guys. I am open. I want to hear from you guys, so let me know what you think. Um, if there's anything that you would like to talk about, we can talk about those things. And um, again, information down below. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, or you can email me. It's, I don't know what you want me to say, guys. Holla. Yeah. Thank you. She just. She just totally got me. Oh, well. But until next time, guys, be easy. Bye.